Alexis, a family of local Rockford ice dancer, is honoring his memory with an event centered around one of his biggest passions. I'd love to get you the Olympics. He would, he would have been there. Brad Whitlock died in December of 2020 after suffering complications from a month-long battle with COVID-19. His wife and daughters couldn't think of anything more fitting to celebrate his life than being back at the rink. It, it is a comfort. It is exciting. I know he would love it. I like to think that he's hovering around here somewhere just enjoying himself because he loved this sport so much. Whitlock's love for skating started young, but as for dancing? Then when our girls were born, when they were three and five, um, that was the year Brian Boitano won the gold up in Calgary. And my husband decided he wanted to be the first 40-year-old Brian Boitano. So he picked up his skates and headed to the rink, a place the family soon became all too familiar with. You just feel at home. Any rink in the country, you, you walk in and the kids often said, you know exactly what the nachos are going to taste like. You know exactly where the bathrooms are because they're, they're in the same place. Brad's daughter Evangeline started skating after her dad and soon the whole family was hooked. The way that I describe it is the family vacations that we took were to skating competitions. With her dad now gone, she says being at the rink and experiencing what everyone is there for feels... Feels um, not cl like closure, but like a, a new step forward. With that step forward, the Whitlocks say they are hopeful Brad's memory will inspire others to start skating. We are actually thinking in terms of continuing this to get people interested in the sport and because it's fun to get together and remember those. The clinic was funded by a memorial in Brad's name and hosted by the Rockford Skating Club. Brad was 62 years old and was active in the skating club as well as being a volunteer announcer in Rockford. Both his daughters continue to coach skating. Alexis? All right, thanks, Rachel.